during meiosis 1 from a parent diploid cell. At the end of telophase 1, two haploid cells are formed with half the number of chromosomes compared to this parent cell. That is why meiosis 1 is also called as reduction division. Whereas in meiosis 2, as you see here, from two haploid cells, at the end of telophase 2 after cytokinesis, four haploid cells are formed with the same number of chromosomes. That is why meiosis 2 is called as equational division or it is just like mitosis. The chromosome number of the parent cell and the daughter cell is the same as in mitosis. Both are haploid here. Difference number two. In meiosis 1, the first stage that is prophase is elaborate with multiple stages, leptotene, psychotene, pachytene, diplotene and diakinesis. During pachytene, there is crossing over between these homologous chromosomes. That means the exchange of segments between these homologous chromosomes that leads to recombination and also contributes to genetic diversity or genetic variation. Whereas in meiosis 2, Prophase is simple without crossing over. Difference number three. In meiosis one, homologous chromosomes are separated as you see here. So these are the homologous chromosomes that is separated during the anaphase one of meiosis one. Whereas in meiosis two, as you see here, sister chromatids are separated as in mitosis. And the final difference is in meiosis one, Cohesin is protected at centromeres by shugosin. So these are two proteins. These chromatids are held at centromere primarily by a protein called cohesin and that is further strengthened by shugosin as you see here. Whereas in meiosis 2, cohesin is cleaved at centromeres for separation of the sister chromatids here. So as you see, this cohesin is cleaved at centromere so that sister chromatids are separated during meiosis 2. For quick summary of meiosis, you can watch our video on meiosis in 4 minutes. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsfurry.com.